In this lesson, we are gonna learn how to do a three by three matrix determinants. So it's pretty interesting, uh, but pretty easy. It's just a little formula that you need to follow. So I assume that you've already watched my lesson, the previous one, on how to do a two by two matrix. Well, actually, if you haven't, let me quickly remind you. So let's say you have a, a two by two matrix like this. Okay, and if you had to work out the determinant, then I told you in that lesson that you need to follow that type of shape over there. So you're gonna go like this, so that's three times four. Then you're gonna say subtract, and then you're gonna go negative one times two. So negative one times two. And that's gonna give you 12, take away negative two, because that's what that is. And that's gonna end up becoming 12 plus two, which is 14. So that's how you work out a two by two determinant. And you need to know that in order to, or to be able to do a three by three. So here we have it. So what you do, okay, is I want you to know that these three numbers at the top, they are gonna be the most important. So what we do is you take the first one, okay? So you take the first one. Now, what I want you to do then is just, um, so, so you see there's that first one, I want you to draw a line going down and I want you to draw a line going across. Well, first write that number down, minus three. Then I want you to make a brand new matrix. The brand new matrix is the numbers that are left over, okay? So that's gonna be negative one, five, one, negative one, okay? Then I want you to say minus. Now, what are we gonna minus? Now we're gonna look at this number over here. So we're gonna say minus one. And I want you to just draw a line going through that one in both directions like that. And the next, ma the next matrix that uses all the numbers that you can see left over. So that's negative three, five, negative two, negative one. Then you're gonna say plus, okay? Now we're gonna say plus this number, so that's a four. And then you're gonna put a line going through and a line going through, and all the leftover numbers are gonna be the new matrix. So that's gonna be negative three, negative one, negative two, and one. All that we do now is we just go get the determinant of each of these, but those are just two by twos, and we know how to do the determinant of a two by two. So you're just gonna say negative three, and now the determinant of this one is gonna be, um, remember we always go in this direction like that, so it's negative one times negative one, which is one, then it says subtract, then you go five times one, which is five. Okay, and one minus five is just negative four, negative four. Then you're gonna say negative, negative, which is a positive. Then you're gonna get the determinant of this one over here. So that's gonna be um, negative three times negative one, which is three, subtract, and then, and then five, sorry, the direction goes like this, like that, and then like that. So five times negative two is negative 10. So these two negatives are just gonna make a positive. And so it's gonna be 10 plus, three plus 10, sorry. And so that's just 13. And then you're gonna do the exact same with this one. So that's gonna be plus four. And then you're just gonna do the determinant. So that's gonna be in that direction again. So it's negative three times one, which is negative three. Then you subtract whatever this next part is. So the next part is these two over here. So that's gonna be negative one times negative two, which is two. So negative three take away two is negative five. And now you just go put all of that together. So um, you're gonna end up with 12, 12 plus 13 um, take away 20, and that gives you five. Amazing, let's do some more examples. We have another two examples that we're gonna do. Okay, so first one is you just cross out, you take this first number, so that's a four. Then put a line going through like that. Then make a determ uh, matrix with the leftover numbers. So that's minus three, one, one, and three. Then you're gonna say minus, okay? What are we gonna minus? You're gonna minus this number. You're gonna make a matrix, and you're gonna put a line going through in both directions, and you're gonna put all the numbers that are left over, five, one, minus three, and three. Then you're gonna say plus. So it's always the first one, minus the second one, plus the third one. It's just an order that we use. So now you're gonna be plusing this number, so it's three. And then you're gonna put a line going through and a line going through. And the numbers that are left over, they are the new matrix. So five, take away three, take away three, or negative three, and one. Okay, so what you need to go do is get the determinant now of each of those. Pretty straightforward, eh? I bet you at first it was like, what? But now you're starting to be like, oh, it's actually quite simple. So we're gonna say four. Now the determinant of this one is going to be, um, I'm just gonna work it out, so it's negative nine, minus one, so it's gonna be negative 10, 
Well, I'll do it in baby steps. Negative nine, take away one. Okay, uh, this becomes a plus. Then it's gonna be 15, take away, and then negative three, so that's like that. And then plus three, um, now, whoops, brackets, Kevin. Now this is gonna be five times one, five times, sorry, five times one, which is five, take away, and then it's this part of here, which is then negative three times negative three, which is nine. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and simplify. So negative nine, take away one is negative 10, 15, this becomes a plus. So it's 15 plus three, which is 18. And then this is five minus nine, which is negative four. Okay, and then you can just go ahead and work this all out. That's gonna be negative 40 uh, plus 90, take away 12, and that gives us 38. Let's do one more example. So, I wonder if you know how to do this by yourself. So you take the first number, nine is two. You put a line through, put a line like that. Uh, whatever the numbers are left over, they become your new matrix. Whoops, that's a three, Kevin. And then negative three, uh, negative three. Then you say minus. You're just gonna have to remember that. You're gonna say minus, whatever this number is. Put a line through it, put a line through it. And the numbers that are left over, um, they are the new matrix. Okay, and then you're gonna say plus. So it's always the first one, as normal. Then you use a minus, and then you use a plus. So that's gonna be plus five, and then you're gonna open up a matrix. You're gonna block that line up, put a line through that, and whatever line, whatever numbers are left over, that's your new matrix, two, negative three. Okay, now we need to go get the determinant of each of those. I had to go redo everything because I was definitely gonna run out of space. Okay, so now we're gonna carry on over here, so that's gonna be negative two. Now we need to do the, the determinant, so it's always like this and then like that. So it's gonna be three times negative three, which is negative nine, subtract, and then three times negative three, which is also negative nine. Then the next part, that becomes a plus, so we'll say plus one, and then that's gonna be five times negative three, which is negative 15, subtract this part over here, which is six, or three times two, which is six. Then we're gonna say plus five, and then it's gonna be five times negative three, which is negative 15, subtract, and then three times two, which is six. Okay, now we're just gonna say, go simplify. So this actually becomes zero because it's negative nine plus nine, which is zero. Um, negative 15, negative six is negative 21. And then negative, this is also negative 21. Okay, so that's gonna end up giving us zero. Take away 21, take away 105, and all of that together gives us negative 126.